driverless cars are taking to the streets of Coventry, clocking up thousands of miles driving around the city centre on virtual journeys in a detailed computer simulation. It's effectively a driving test for the robot cars of the future. But before the computers to have a go, we thought we'd let science correspondent David Gregory Kumar loose on the virtual streets to take the new simulator for a spin. You'll have seen a driving simulator before. There's an all-round view of the world and a car that drives and even sounds like the real thing. It's all very authentic in here, especially if you can't see the road ahead because your cameraman is in the way. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> Today, I'm at the wheel of the car at WMG at the University of Warwick, but this new simulator is actually designed to test the next generation of driverless car systems. What we would like to do is to be able to bring all the interesting conditions into a nice, safe, repeatable, risk-free environment. And that's what the simulator is. So we can learn about the technology, see how it performs, see how people use it, see how people accept it. In here, they can simulate not just the visuals and the audio for the driver, but also the GPS and radio signals any automated system would rely on. The biggest challenge for industry is actually how much testing they can do to prove these things are not going to fail and they're trustable. And the more we can do, uh, the more evidence we can show and the more people will trust the technology and buy it. They'll be testing all sorts of driver assistance technology from simple lane guidance in a Range Rover through to completely driverless cars like this pod shortly to be seen in Coventry for real. Well, what we're trying to eventually get to um, is that we can build effectively a driving test for automated vehicles. Uh, and if you have a simulator with the right data connectors, you could put any person, company's vehicle into that same world and do a very easy A to B comparison about really how good those autonomous systems are. Okay, let's face it, a lot of these self-driving cars and the technology comes out of California, but if they're gonna work in this country, you don't need to simulate driving around in lovely sunshine. You need authentically stop-start traffic in Coventry. Look, will you stop trying to get through on the left? They've done a very good job simulating the drivers of Coventry too. Our robot cars will need their wits about them. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today at the University of Warwick.